What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. My name is Jacob Cerns and my question for you today is, do you want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Just kidding. So, so we're looking, this is actually going to be a part one of this. It'll be a part two coming out tomorrow. But part one of do you want the truth is in Mark chapter eight, where Jesus is dis describing to his disciples that he's going to die. He's like, so the Son of Man is going to be delivered over to sinners and they're going to hurt him and kill him. And they're like, no way, what? And so I think we have to ask ourselves, do we really want the truth all the time? Because sometimes Jesus will even not tell us necessarily every little detail because he's protecting us. Because he knows that if he tells us all the full truth, it's going to freak us out. And we're going to learn tomorrow just how freaked out the disciples get about this. But sometimes Jesus doesn't tell us everything, not because he's trying to hold things back, not because he's trying to make our lives not as complete. It's actually to make our lives even more complete because he knows that some truth is going to be too tough for us to handle, too much for us to bear. So guys, just trust Jesus. That's the answer here. Just trust him. If you don't have all the answers yet, if you're looking at your life and you're like, man, I don't even know what I'm going to do next to like tomorrow or next week or whatever. Like, I don't have a plan. I don't know what to do. Trust Jesus. If you're thinking of your spiritual life and you're thinking, I just feel like I'm not growing. I just feel like I'm, I'm not getting where I want to be. I'm not, um, my relationship with, with Jesus is just kind of stagnant and kind of stale. Trust him. Take those small steps. Take those baby steps and trust that he will guide you on that path and he'll show you what you need to know. He may not show you the very end from the beginning, but he will show you what you need to know in order to be saved and in order to have a saving relationship with him that grows on a regular basis. So guys, do you really want the truth? Well, I would say we want whatever truth Jesus wants to give us. And if he for some reason sees fit to not tell us something, it's actually gonna be for our benefit. So we can trust him regardless. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Push the thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe over here, watch another video there. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord to each and every one of you.